What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl, you won't believe the drama. Now I have a lot more to say. You're, you're gonna be shook what I have to say, but let me pay these light bills before they go out again, girl. This video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Keep in mind they have amazing products out there like the Lawnmower 3.0. One of my favorites right now is the Weed Whacker. I freaking love this one. Perfect for your ears and your nose hair trimming. See if you're at home in quarantine, I freaking love that. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested, I put the link down below. It automatically applies at checkout. Get on with the drama. Oh my gosh, girl, I have so much drama for you today. I have to get my receipts. Let me see here. They're transparent, girl. I got to see, girl. Let me see here. Now, see, you may not be able to see it, but I can. You got Nikita Dragon, not wearing a mask. No, let me see here. Patrick Star. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. Let me see. Ah, Jaclyn Hill drama. Here you go, girl. Mm. Okay, oh my gosh, we have someone to talk about because Jaclyn Hill's husband stars some drama. Now, I gotta, I gotta clarify. Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband is at it again. Now, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Jaclyn Hill used to be married to this guy named John Hill and they parted ways. Well, he tweeted out late late last night and then he deleted the receipts but i have them girl he tweeted out this trisha paytas can you please give me back my gucci scarf yeah it would mean a lot to me thank you so much congrats on your new marriage <gasps> and you know what? I'm not really gonna talk too much about their relationship because I honestly don't know much about it. I wanna respect it, but I'm gonna say this much. It seems like the ex-husband is lashing out for attention to Jaclyn Hill. Hey, Trisha Paytas, where's my scar? Oh, and then he sees Trisha Paytas just got married or whatever. And uh, yeah, because for those who don't know, Trisha Paytas is basically getting married now to Moses and she just dropped the video about her new house tour and everyone's like going crazy over it. So it, it almost seems like you know, like John Hill just can't catch a break, girl. The relationship with Jaclyn Hill didn't work out. I guess the friendship with Trisha Paytas kind of deteriorated. Maybe he thought they were going to be together. I don't know, girl. But now he's asking for his scarf back. What's interesting is that in the comments down below, you guys were commenting to him. Somebody said, why not personally message her, assuming that you had it yet? Meaning, why doesn't Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband message Trisha Paytas for the scarf? Well, he replied, girl. Here's what he had to say. Not trying to get drama channels involved. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut on this matter because I want no drama out of any of this. I respect everyone and I'm not starting trouble with anyone. End of story. With that being said, she did buy me a phone when mine was lost, so I may be wrong, but feel she thinks maybe we're even. I'm not really sure, but it would mean a lot to me if I got my scarf back. I'm not living large AF anymore off my ex, LOL. Girl, cause you already know. Remember, John Hill used to be married to Jaclyn Hill, and Jaclyn Hill has all the coins, the hats. So it just kind of, it just put these in perspective. Jaclyn Hill's moved on, Trisha Paytas moved on, and John Hill was sitting there like, girl, I guess get my Gucci scarf back. Anyways, let me know what you think about all that drama because I don't know much about it. I don't know what's going on. Much respect to him and I wish him the best with his music career because he has a booming music career here in Austin, Texas. And I think Jaclyn Hill and him still like talk and they're cordial. The thing with Trisha Paytas is him, I don't know if she'll give it back. Knowing Trisha Paytas, if she responds, she'll make five TikToks, two videos, go on a podcast. Girl, go on an Instagram rant talking about this scarf, like literally a whole week's worth of content over him just saying, can I get my scarf back? Because you know, Trisha Paytas, girl. Trisha Paytas will drop video after video after video, podcast, podcast, TikToks, Instagram, Twitter, all talking about John Hill and the scarf. So I don't know. He's not accusing her of being a thief or anything like that. I don't know what, how she ended up getting it, why she would have the Gucci scarf, but that's the drama. We gotta talk about some other drama, girl. Get ready, because this one's very interesting, okay? Let me see here. Patrick Star drama. Oh, oh, all right, put it right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Patrick Star posted this, girl. I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much as I should. I wish I had more time to be like the old Patrick Star you met. 
Times are different now, and I have a brand that has my commitment. I hope my journey can inspire anyone to go after their dreams and start a business with their passions. This brand means so much to me. BRB, I'm going to cry and eat my dim sum. Okay, well, you know, uh, before I before I say what I got to say, here's what somebody said in the comments. That 253 chick said, amazing how he seemed like one of the nicest beauty gurus on YouTube. And now, he's clearly not. His content was never my style, so I never watched much of it. But he really did seem like a decent person until COVID hit. Disappointed, but not surprised. Edit, this was supposed to be its own comment. Apparently I tapped reply instead of the text bar by mistake, whoops. But also judging by the replies I'm seeing, looks like there's some credence to out of sight, out of mind because I've never heard how rude he's been to people in the past. Bear with me girls, cause we got one more comment girl. Here we go, Rose. T93 said, at this point, Patrick needs to hang it up. Maybe he can't take a break for a few months, reevaluate things and come on back. He has spent the last 10 10 months completely running or ruining one of the best reputations any YouTube beauty guru has ever had. This dude has a five part collab with Mac. He launched a brand straight into Sephora. Most influencer brands don't get near of those retailers. He could have transitioned away from YouTube gradually. It's fine if he hasn't had any interest in it anymore. People grow and change and continue to build on that excellent reputation he had. Instead, he chose to toss in out the window to hang out with these likes of Nikita and of all people. He has disrespected frontline workers and people have lost their lives or lost loved ones in the pandemic by constantly partying and being rude. It is true weirdo behavior. Okay, girl. Woo! You know, once again, we're talking about Patrick Starr. I just feel like I don't know um, what what happened with Patrick Starr. I have my conclusions, my opinions. I feel like this is great. I feel like this is this is normal. People grow out of their content. Patrick Starr went from being a YouTuber. He was very successful at it. He had many great successes with it. And he parlayed that into a business, into many, many, many brand collaborations and sponsors. He did great. And now he has his own brand. And now he's kind of like, I'm busy over here. I can't do YouTube as much. And I've always said this, like, you know, I don't know, you know, the, the thing with the Patrick Starr is that like, he has all this filming equipment in his house. Like, I, I, he did a vlog where he had like these $5,000, one light was $5,000. I'm like, oh my God. I just kind of felt like, uh, people just miss the old Patrick Starr being real the raw. And I think that this is a great opportunity. And I know you may not like Patrick Starr, you know, and I always sit here and I'm like, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I feel like Patrick Starr is into being like, hey, watch me be a CEO you know, follow me. I'm going to get in front of the camera again. And I want you guys to follow me into the factory. Follow me with my new designs and, and how I came up with doing it, doing this, which was, I think was just so dumb. And I like the fact that you have to twist and turn instead of a pull and turn or stuff like that, because he's very like, the, what I've known about Patrick Starr when it comes to his products, he's very, uh, like like the Steve Jobs almost. And I think a lot of people like uh, from, from the Norvina of Beverly Hills all the way down to the Elf Cosmetics are always thinking of ways to just reinvent the wheel and make products just more easy to use, if that makes sense. And I think Patrick Starr is onto something, but I just kind of wish that he would take us on that journey too. Like he started off as a YouTuber. People who are buying his makeup, I believe would be his demographic and his subscribers. Um, I don't know. I do think a small piece of it is like, they go into Sephora and there's like, what is one size beauty? Mm, let me check it out. And then they buy it. But like, I think a lot of people know Patrick Starr, so they buy the makeup. And I think they would want to see the journey of following him in the factory, in the lab or in meetings, a mood board, a collaboration. Like it would be amazing to see him say like, Hey guys, this is my, my winter campaign 2022 and I'm working on it and I'm just follow me. We're going to, we're going to go. And then, you know, kind of like a little mini documentary about it, but I don't know why he doesn't do that. I think that, I don't think people would really like pin it against the whole Shane, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star documentary. I think that Patrick Star would 
be doing it himself. Like it wouldn't be a documentary because it's a video on his YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like if it's a video on YouTube, on your channel about yourself, it's not a documentary. It's just a YouTube video. That's kind of how I see it. Like he should just make YouTube videos about following through his journey of being a, a brand ambassador or CEO or whatever it is, like of his own company. And I think, I, I do think, you know, I saw a little negative comments of like, who is, who, who does Patrick Starr inspire? Oh my God, I think Patrick Starr inspires a lot of people. You know, coming from the LGBT community, I think he does inspire a lot of people like, hey, you could be part of the LGBT community and have your own makeup brand and have a successful YouTube channel. Like those are things that he's kind of like done. And I think that, I know I'll probably get hate for this or unpopular opinion, but I think that Patrick Starr has trailblazed a lot. Like he has done things so that, I mean, he's one of the first male beauty gurus like back in the day. It, it, I think people just tend to forget that he's an OG, right? I get it that, I think that everyone has their day and maybe people feel like he's phased out or, you know, it's all about the TikTokers now or whatever, but I, I don't know. I feel like the true diehards will still watch and support him and he should like just take us on this journey of being a CEO. You know, I understand he may not want to sit there and be like, oh my gosh, let's talk about this new foundation that came out by, you know, whatever company. And it just kind of felt like, take us on creating your own foundation. That'll be interesting. I don't know. I don't know. But apparently from what I read, from Patrick Starr's apology or something like that, it just kind of came across like Patrick Starr is just moving away from YouTube. And that to me is sad because I never thought he would just, he would leave YouTube. Now he's, you know, I think that he, I think this is saying that, hey, I'm gonna work on my brand a little bit more. Then take us with you. Like we wanna see that. We wanna see you build this brand. And I think a lot of people would, would love to see that. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks so much.